Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a tutorial for fake smile. Um, this look right here, it's really pink and pretty and like girly, I don't know. <laughs> I really like it, it's more pink and purple than I was anticipating, but yes. That is the look we are doing today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. And let's go ahead and get into the video. Let's get started in here. So we're gonna start by taking the Rock Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. This one is almost empty, and I know I've been saying that for a really long time, but it really is almost gone. Look at this, like, I am squeezing so hard right now. I think I can have like maybe three or four more uses out of it. It's not gonna be very much. And I wanna apologize if you hear any um, background noise. My kitties are in here as per usual, but they are in here hanging out, having a good time. So I just wanna apologize if you do happen to hear them running around, making noise, being crazy. Okay, just that's how they do it. So. We're going to take the Too Faced Clover Palette. This is the cutest packaging in the world. And this is a Too Faced website, I think exclusive. It'll be linked down below. It's one of my favorite palettes ever. And we are going to start by taking the shade Love is Love, which is this one right here. And we're gonna use that as our transition color today. The look we are doing is very pink. The look I originally wanted, like I had planned, like wrote down, was blue. But after I finished it, I thought, mm, it's a little too close to needy. It was like almost the exact same. So then I went back through and um, decided to write down pink. Because fake smile makes me think pink and like blue and stuff. And so I came up with this like pinky purple thing and it's really pretty. I think it'll look really, really pretty when everything's put together. Like we have highlight on and everything's all put together. So... This is our transition today. I love, 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 love these palettes, these shades. Phenomenal. I'm telling you, Too Faced has the best eyeshadows. All the way up there. All right, and then we are going to take the shade Daddy's Love Me, which is this one right here. I'm gonna put that in our crease to deepen it up. This look is very simple color-wise. It's not that many colors. It's pretty easy placement. It looks like really dramatic just because of the color shades and like um, how intensely pigmented they are. But the look itself is pretty basic to achieve. It's pretty easy. And those are my favorite looks to do. You guys know that? And really, as long as you have just a couple brushes, I'm using uh, five whole brushes today for this look, you can achieve this. And you don't even really need that many, but that's just what I'm doing. And we are putting this all the way from inner to outer corner directly into the crease. So right where my eye naturally folds. And then we're gonna blend this out with the same brush. Leave that brush close by, because you will need it again. I promise. Okay. Then we are going to take the Too Faced Glitter Glue. This is my favorite glitter glue in the entire world. It is just the best there ever was. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this on the back of my hand. I mean like the smallest amount. You need the smallest amount of this possible, because it can get too much really, really quickly. And I'm going to take that on a brush and put that all over my lid. And then, me. we're going to take the shade TF Mascot, which is Too Faced. 
I just got purple eyeshadow on my white shirt. That is fantastic. I love that for me. It's fine. Um, it's, hello? Camera? This purple right here. And we're going to pack that on our lid. Not all the way in the inner corner though. We're gonna stop like right there and then pack it everywhere else. This purple is gorgeous. It has little flakes of glitter, like little sparkles in it. They're not too big, but it does lead to a little bit of fallout. So I would recommend doing your eyes first. Like, look at it, it's gorgeous. It reminds me a lot of the purple in the Too Faced peanut butter and jelly palette. Do you guys remember that palette? I did a review over it a long time ago. I loved that palette. And then we're going to take the shade I Rough You, which is this one right here, and we're going to pack that on the inner corner. It's a very light, baby, shimmery pink. It's really, really pretty. And I'm going to put that right in here. And just blend into that purple. Take that brush with the purple on it without any extra product and just blend the two together. And then like retouch up this pink. And then we're gonna take the brush that had Daddy's Love Me on it in the crease to blend everything out. And then we're gonna take the shade Love is Love again and blend that up as well. Get everything kind of in motion here. And then we will zoom out. Yeah, you guys will probably see the purple eyeshadow on my shirt. Oops. And we're gonna take a makeup wipe and just wipe off all that, all that extra. I'm going to take the, um, we'll take this one. This is the Wet n Wild Water Drop Primer in Coconut. I think there are three different like scents of this, if that's what you would call it. Um, it smells like cat litter. It, it does, it smells like cat litter to me. It smells like cat litter. And we're gonna first get it started. <laughs> Woo, that's way too much, okay. <laughs> That is way too much. We'll just use it on both sides. It, yeah, it smells like cat litter. Uh, I like the product. It just smells like cat litter. And it goes away like once it's blended in, but it's definitely not a coconut smell um, at all. It smells like cat litter. And I've said that before on my channel. I really like the product. It just, it smells like cat litter. It's not a really strong smell. So if you're sensitive to smells, oh sorry. Um, it'll probably be okay, but yeah, it definitely has a cat litter smell to it. And I did dye my hair again. If you're like, girl, what is going on with your hair? It's like purple. <laughs> the color it's actually like labeled as is burgundy, but it's purple and I'm obsessed with it. I don't think I've loved a hair color so much in a really long time. So we are finally getting some things done. And take the makeup wipe and just wipe off that extra primer off my hands. I don't like when product sits on my fingers too long. I just don't like it. Um. Let's see what Caitlin had to say because I was Caitlin texting me. I'm supposed to pick her up from work. All the feels facial oil by e.l.f. I've only used this a couple times. Truthfully, I don't really understand the big hype around like face oils. Like they're okay, but to me, they're not anything like life changing. Like I like I like this one, but like I don't know what the big hype about oils are you know like i feel like for a while they were like all 
I just knocked it over, so that's great. Um, it was all anything, all any brands was coming out with were facial oils, and I really don't quite understand what the big hoopla was. Um, maybe I just haven't found the right one. I like this one from e.l.f., but I, it's not anything, it's not a ride or die product for me, if that makes sense. I find them a little messy, which, I mean, they're oil, but I find them a little messy. That's why I don't typically use them. It's just not something I reach for very often. So I just thought I'd give it another go just because I had it sitting there. I gotta make sure all that is blended in. Okay. Let's clean this up because I have oil all over my tape. Have foundation on. Let's take this. I haven't used this in a minute. And I kind of want to use it. Oops, I dropped it. Guys, I'm a mess. Okay, I'm falling apart. So I'm gonna take this. I really like this product. I just haven't used it in a while. Let me give it a good whacking. All right, this is the Merle Norman CC Cream in the shade Light Ivory. This does have SPF in it. I don't want something super heavy today. My skin is actually doing okay. I mean, I have a breakout like right here, but that's where my, my glasses sit. Um, but I don't feel like I need like a full, full coverage. So I'm just going to go in with this. I think I might actually pump it on the back of my hand. We'll do, my goodness, are we out? We're almost out of this, you guys. It's like just spitting it. Um, we'll try the sponge. I don't remember if I liked this foundation or CC cream with a sponge, but we'll go ahead and use the sponge anyway. This is a really pretty uh, foundation CC cream. I'm going to call it a foundation, but it's really, really pretty. If you can find your shade, that's like the biggest thing with Merle Mormon products is they don't really have a very good shade range at all. This is really, really pretty. And during the summertime, it's like the absolute perfect shade for me. It's luminous. I don't have to set it if I don't want to. And it lasts a pretty decent time to be a CC cream. It has really good coverage as well. I'm a really big fan of medium to full coverage. Those are my favorite type of coverages too. Look at this. I know this product's in here, I can feel it. <laughs> um, those are my favorite type of coverage to wear, is medium to full. And this is definitely more medium, and I like it. Medium is probably my most worn though, just because I feel like sometimes I can get really cakey, just because I have really dry skin. So sometimes more full coverage foundations can be like a nightmare for me just because I do have dry skin and sometimes it's not as flattering on me. Whew. Uh, that foundation's almost gone you guys. I have another, I have a backup of this because I really do like it that much so don't worry if I run out it'll still be here. Alrighty, let's do and in order for me to determine if I really like it or not, I want to try it again. This is the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer in the shade Pale. Put that on and then we'll set the concealer using the e.l.f. contour palette in the shade Light and just use the light um, little contour thing. Yeah, I remember it creasing extremely, extremely badly. So I'm worried that's going to do it again, but I'm hoping maybe not.
I think because we have a pink look going on, we can wear this and I'm really excited about it. I love this, but I don't wear it too much because it's pink and I don't really wear pink highlighters, but this is the Hourglass Vanish uh, Stick in the shade Pink Flash. I wanna buy like the more champagne one. I got this in a boxy charm a long ass time ago and yeah, I'm uh, going to put this bad boy on. I feel like pink highlighters don't look super flattering on me. Uh, I think my skin tone is just too yellow for them. Um, but we're gonna wear pink today. I do have some, I just prefer more of like the champagne-y type vibe, even though those do have pink in them. I feel like this is just too pink, if that makes any sense. I'm just using my finger. I feel like this uh, product applies best with your finger. You can definitely use like a brush or a sponge. I just think it's easier and blends out better with your finger. And just pop it on cheekbones and then we'll take just a little tiny bit up the nose, like very, very little. I do like this product quite a bit and I should wear it more than I do, but it's just pink. I don't wear pink tones, highlighters all that much. So toss that back in there and then we will contour using the exact same um, little guy. And we'll just use the little contour shade. Obviously I have a hair or something on my nose. It's a cat hair. Oh my goodness. Shocking. All of my cats are currently in the room and they are behaving actually rather rather well it's because i sat here and did the one eye first before i started filming and they got all their little energy out before <laughs> i started and also i don't know if you guys saw my announcement on instagram so i'll just say it here just in case you watch it but the cheese girls series has been renamed and it has a playlist on my channel you can check it out there, but the Cheese Girl series has been renamed. Laura Geller Baked Body Frosting in the shade Tahitian Glow. I love this. It is dewy and I love it. I need to get more bronzers. I feel like a lot of my bronzers are matte, which is funny because I prefer most of the time a bronzer with a little bit of a glow to it. But most of them are the complete opposite. <laughs> Just gonna blend that out very, very lightly. I don't really need a whole lot of bronzer, but it brings some color back after we, you know, made our face all one color with foundation. So we take away all the color and then we put it back in specific places, which is basically what I'm doing right now, which is kind of funny when you think about it, but that's what we do. And then we will bronze the sides of the nose, the neck, and the jaw. I used to contour my jaw, but I feel like I look better with just a bronze jaw. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know if you guys can really tell, but I can tell. This is the Burt's Bees uh, blush in the shade Shy Pink. I love these blushes, you guys. I think there's two of them that I don't actually have but I love them. They are so gorgeous. If you've not tried the Burt's Bees blushes, at least try the cinnamon one. It's my favorite. Do I mean just using my screen on my camera to apply my blush so I don't have to pick up that palette again. And then we're going to take the Wet n Wild Center Stage Collection uh, highlighter in the shade Rose Champagne Glow. I will have the product linked down below. It's in a different name, but it's the exact same product. This is what we're going to use to set that stick highlighter. Let's take this and put it right here. This is more champagne. I mean, obviously, but it does have a soft pink reflect to it. So the pink won't go away, but because we put bronzer on, um, highlighter, blush it'll be toned down just a little bit which is okay i'm okay with 
Anyway, if you want the pink to stay around and want your look to be a little bit more pink, just use a pink toned highlighter. My brows, I'm just going to take the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade 3.5 and just run it through my brows. I love doing this because I'm really lazy when it comes to my eyebrows. Like, extremely, extremely lazy. And I feel like now that I have darker hair, this shade should actually work a lot better for me than it was. But, um... Yeah, I need to get a bigger size. This is like the little mini version. And it's about empty. I don't know if you guys can see like the big clumps coming out because it's it's almost completely gone. And I just, it's on its last legs. And I'm over here like, no, you're not allowed to quit on me. You're not a quitter. Then I'm going to take the shade Daddy's Love Me Again, which is just that like darker purple, darker pink, actually like a magenta. And put that right underneath. My lashes. So that concealer did crease still. Most concealers crease on me. Um, it's not super terrible. So I think you just have to set it like immediately. This side is definitely worse than the other one and not apply too much. It's definitely one of those concealers that if you apply too much, it's like game over. Take love is love on the brush we used originally, smacking off most of the extra. Just because these shades are very pigmented. And putting it down there, connecting it to the top. We are going to highlight my inner corner using the shade Puppy Eyes. It's this white, shimmery white right here. The mirrored backing kind of makes the shades hard to see. But this shade is stunning. It's just a shimmery, like, white but it's a white. It's not like, it doesn't have pink reflect, it doesn't have blue reflect, it's white, which I really, really like. And then we are going to take just a matte shade, any matte cream shade. I actually don't have any laying around at the moment and highlight my brow bone. Um, I'm gonna use a matte, this is a matte cream shade it's just it's just a laura geller eyeshadow that i'm using for this you can literally use anything and we're gonna do mascara we're gonna use um let's use this this is the benefit bad gal bang a lot of benefit and a lot of true face today this is the nyx epic wear liner stick in the shade periwinkle pop it's a very like light lavender might be the fastest video I've ever filmed. Okay. Is pink the vibe? We'll use both of these. This is the Sephora S Clean um, Lip Mousse in the shade Peony. And then we'll put just a little bit of the Sephora S Clean Glossy Lip Oil in the shade Watermelon on top. I love these things. I'm obsessed with them. Um, like most of you know if you watched my video i did get sent these from sephora and i'm obsessed I wear these little lip mousse things all the time. They are some of my favorites, if not my favorite type of lip product to wear. And then the lip oils, like lip glosses, I really, really like as well. I don't wear lip gloss super often, but I do really like these.
you guys and that is it for fake smile i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave help me reach my goal of 1000 subscribers hit my notification bell i'm stuttering um and i'll see you in my next video